For my project, I researched Gregory Scott, and so this is one of his pieces called Framed. So just a general overview of him, he was born in 1957 in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and he received his bachelor degree from Illinois Institute of Technology in 1979. And so for a while he was just a graphic designer, he didn't really do much with like photography or painting or anything like that, but in 2003 he attended a photography workshop, and so that's whenever he started to experiment with com combining uh, photography and painting. And so in 2005, he had his first gallery showing at Catherine Elderman Gallery. And in 2006, he attended Indiana University, and is there he got his Master of Fine Art in 2008. And so afterwards, he started asking himself the question, what if a painting could move? And so it was then he actually combined video, painting, and photography all in one. So this is six inches taller. This is one of his... Uh, combinations of painting and photography. So as you can see, the legs are the painting. This is homage. And so the thing that's interesting about these freestanding paintings is how he uses these tripods and he doesn't even try to camouflage them. He just leaves them out in the open. It's a storybook ending. Disconcertainty. Unknown friend's visit. statuesque. And I like how in many of them he tries to create this seamless transition. Other than like the bordering of the canvas, it's kind of hard to tell. Bound. Thank you Jeff Koons and Art Rogers. Little tree. And so this one was pretty neat to me because of how he repeats the tree shapes. And then the season is completely different, so he doesn't really bother trying to create this, like, seamless transition. And this one was interesting because there aren't many color photos of these. And so this is two feet under, and I like how he repeats the same leg painting from the first image. And so this is Disconnect, and I love the surrealism in this one. And so this is one of his where he incorporates video. This is called depth. And so as you can see in the in the middle like pieces, that's where the video takes place. And this is a temptuous. And he he's incorporated in these pieces. So that is him holding the flowers. This is myopia. So these are pretty long, so I have to skip through them. As you can see, it kind of just... It just it goes through all these changes, and so he incorporates these, like, cutouts as well. This is fabrication. And so I like how he has this beam on the side as an attempt to continue this uh, design. This is dialogue. And I like this one because instead of the painting having the movement, it's these text dialogue bubbles. This one is closure. And so this one has three paintings going on, so it gets kind of busy. This one is Construct. One is structure. And I like this one because of how there's this transformation. And then he just 
It kind of reminds me of if you're standing in the middle of two mirrors, and so there's this kind of tunnel that's created. This one is love. This one is different because it's using sculpture instead of paintings. But that's just a still of it. There's no video. This one is Warholian. So that's another cutout. So he just kind of just keeps adding different things. And so this is a video of him talking about Attemptuous. This piece is Attemptuous. In this piece I wanted to address the classic reclining nude. It's a, it's, it's a subject matter you see over and over and over again in, in art. And, uh, you know, particularly, um, there's an obvious reference here to Olympia from uh, the 1800s. And I, um, I wanted to, more than in most of these pieces, I wanted to see, explore the, the idea of making a painting move. And so I've taken this side, everything you see inside the frame from here over is, is an oil painting. And this side inside this frame is the video. And so you have this, this figure who doesn't move except for occasionally wiggling her toes. And juxtaposed with the rest of her, which is a painting and, and utterly static. And it's, it's, it's interesting, it can be, um, if you're staring at the piece for a while, it can be a little disconcerting when the toes move because you, you come to start to expect it all to be a painting or a still image. The, um, the space you see here in the photographic image is a uh, space from the Indianapolis Art Museum. And the frame is a, a photograph of a frame that I took and dropped in to this scene. In this piece, in the video, um, a, I've talked about this a little bit before, but in addition to just the, the illusion of, or, or the, the idea of making a painting or a photograph move, in addition to that hook that I hope draws people in, I want something to be happening that's deeper than that. So in this case, the, uh, the figure in the background, myself, comes in and tries to woo this static figure and this, this uh, if you will, you know, this ideal woman. Um, I bring her flowers, I, I come in and work out with weights, I comb my hair, um, what there is of it, and I have a suit on at one point, you know, I try everything. Um, and of course she never reacts because she can't, she's a painting. But um, to me it's about uh, not only that act of wooing and not being noticed, but also uh, the, the power of sexual politics. Um, sometimes, in some situations, um, men have, are in the position of power in, in a sexual relationship or a potential one. Sometimes the female is. And how do we play, um, you know, how do we play in that realm? What are the rules of attractiveness and appropriateness between gender and age and and race and uh, social status. So um, I'm sort of interested in all of that and, and just this act of, of wanting um, something else and, and going after it. And so that's Gregory Scott. Thank you for watching.